Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So welcome to another tutorial. So let's talk about Matrix 42 ESM today. ESM is basically my Matrix 42 Enterprise Service Management which was formerly known as Digital Workspace Platform. If you need to know more about it, you can browse to metris42.com and under metris42.com you can go to what we offer over here and you can see enterprise service management or you can simply scan this QR code and then just browse to this particular web portal where you can find more details on enterprise service management. Now coming back to enterprise service management topic. So today we are going to look at a possibility where we have to create an incident or a ticket from an email. So basically if I send an email to a mailbox it should automatically create an incident inside Metris 42 ITSM. So if I talk about how to do it, what I would be using inside Metris 42 for that is called email robot which is a built-in feature. So for that I would be going to service desk. Inside service desk I'll go to settings. Inside settings I'll go edit and if you see over here we have email robot settings over there. Before that I want you to show you default settings over here. So for example if I'm opening an incident uh, what should be its default category, who should be the responsible person or responsible role for those kind of things. These default settings are available over here inside this place. And then of course who should be the sender of the email of any incident or ticket or a task or whatever. This is where you can configure those settings. But our major topic today, what we want to look at is email robot and opening an incident from a mailbox. So basically for that I'm going to come over here under this mailbox. I'll click on this create new item, add sign. Over here I will select my connection type. In my case I am using HMail server. So I will be using IMAP 4. I don't need SSL. And of course what in my lab scenario I have set up is this app 01 server is my mail server also. And over here I am going to provide the email box detail. So this is my mailbox, the credentials which I need to connect to this and I'll click on continue. As soon as I'll click on continue configuration it will try to make a connection to this mailbox and see what is available over there. So basically what I am guiding this email robot is if there is any email which is coming to inbox just pick it up open a ticket type as maybe incident or a ticket or a service request based on what I want to do. I am just selecting incident and after picking up the email and converting it to incident what category default category should it pick up. So I am going to select over here as incident as my default category. This is another topic where we can see how we can create different categories, categorize them in different uh, way uh, but that's not something which we are discussing today. After you convert this ticket or uh, email to an incident, what should you do with that email which you have picked up? So I'm guiding it to move it to another sub folder which is called inbox red and I'm going to click on finish over here. Now after this my email robot is configured 
right email robot is configured and it is active as you can see as an status so whenever I will send an email to this based on my email robot schedule it will automatically pick up this email and open a, uh, open an incident from that email now how can I configure that schedule by default we have every 15 minute schedule but because this is my lab I have changed that to every one minute for that you have to come under services and processes inside that you have engine activations and engine activation you can search for robot and you can see that service management inbo inbound mail robot and inside that I have to come to edit and under schedule I have my scheduler over here and inside that you can say repeat every one minute by default as I said it is every 15 minutes but I have selected one minute for this demonstration purpose now what I am going to do is I am going to go to my mailbox from Bob William and I'm going to send an email to help desk mailbox And I'm going to send this email and you can see that this mail is received in my help desk email box now we have to wait for this to trigger if I don't want to wait it and I want to do it quickly I can simply click on this activate over here and it will immediately trigger it otherwise I just need to wait for this to trigger and you will be able to see your time over here when was it last run and then of course as soon as it will run you should be able to see that your mail is automatically picked up as you can see over here now this mail is picked up from here there is uh, there is no mail which is available over here and it should basically go to read and you can see it's inside read now so as soon as it has moved to read that means my email robot has already picked up this email and I should have an incident created over here and if you see over here there is an incident which is automatically created over here and it is assigned to incident management role because of the category which I have selected and of course if you see over here Bob William has immediately received a confirmation email which states that your ticket has been received of course you can customize this and so on but that's not something which we are talking about today but yes you can see that your email uh, from a mailbox is picked up and it has been converted into a ticket and of course Bob is part of my service desk already um, and you can see it has automatically detected that this is a Bob William a user which is already part of my matrix 42 ESM so uh, this was all about how you can create an incident from an email by using email robot of matrix 42Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.